Hey moms and dads, or if you're the lucky kid who's getting a room makeover, what's up? Alice here bringing you tips on all things home. And today we're gonna share how to make over your kid's bedroom so that it grows up with them, it stands the test of time, and makes everyone happier. If your kid's bedroom is like most teens and tweens, there's just not enough room and they just have way too much stuff. Trust me, I know, I only have one and she, it's amazing how much she has. And the thing is, she has a whole other bedroom at her dad's house, which I don't even wanna know anything about because I don't see it. All I'm concerned about is the space that she occupies here. We've done many makeovers over the years, but this past summer, we really gave her room an overhaul, which was fitting because she just turned 13. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you my top tips for managing a kid's room makeover that is not only going to be beautiful, but functional. So let's get started. First and foremost, you have to reduce the clutter. You know what I'm talking about. Those stuffed animals, and the books, and the toys, and the games, and then all those clothes. And when they're younger, it's even worse. And it does get a little bit easier as they get older because the items tend to get a little bit smaller. But the first thing you need to do is get to the root of the problem, and that is that you just have too much stuff. So we need to purge. So here's the rule we follow. Limit the amount of stuff you keep, only keep your favorites, and regularly clear stuff out. It's also a good idea to give your items an audit. So for instance, if you're still keep hanging on to things that are not age appropriate, meaning let's say you have a lot of baby books and maybe your child is already 10 or 11 or 12, you don't need those baby books anymore. So unless you have a sibling that you can pass those on to, which you probably would have already, it's time to think about who you can bless with those items that they no longer need. As I mentioned earlier, when they're younger, their toys tend to take up a lot more room because they're bigger. I mean, we had everything. The kitchen set, and we had the easel, and we had the life-size doll furniture. I'm so glad that we are out of that phase and we have passed those along. But if you're still hanging on to these items and you no longer need them, it's time to, again, bless somebody else with that. Really make every effort to limit the amount of intake and do a purge on a regular basis. A great time to do this is right before their birthdays or the holidays when they know they're gonna get new stuff. So in order for them to get new things, they need to also give up some of their older things. Next, you're gonna to wanna to add a closet organizer. It's amazing what a closet organizer can do for your space and how much can actually fit inside a closet. People don't believe me until we do it. And then you'll see that you may end up with extra space that you can actually stash toys and books and those extra items that you didn't have room for before. And then you had to have extra pieces of furniture. So the byproduct of this is you may be able to eliminate all that excess furniture that you had that you thought you needed, but you don't. Here is my daughter's room. She has two reach-in closets, but the problem was she didn't really know what she had in there. So we took the doors off and added the IKEA pack system, which makes it so easy to see what you have. She found that packing was much easier because it was all in one location and it was completely visible. We also added closet organizers to these girls' bedroom closets. These are tiny closets, but when you don't have drawers and hanging rods, everything ends up on the floor. Not to mention, these were really tall closets, so we needed to take advantage of the vertical height. The girls were so excited about their closet transformations that they actually went home the next day to play in their closets. What once was a black hole was now fun because they could see their dress up clothes and their real clothes and they were motivated to keep it nice. That's the funny thing about upgrading a space, it motivates you to rise to that level as well. What do you struggle the most with with your kid's bedroom? Leave me a comment below and let me know. Next you want to create a dedicated desk space. Now, understandably, when they're younger, they want to be really close to you and they may want to be doing their homework or their drawing or their crafts in the kitchen, wherever you are. But as they get older, they need a dedicated space so that they can concentrate on what it is that they're doing. And it could be as simple as just a desk, a good chair, and some lighting but you want to create that space in your room. In addition to that, you wanna make sure that that space is very well organized because there's nothing worse than opening up a drawer and things are just rolling around. You want to incorporate drawer organizers so that when you open up that drawer, you know exactly where the post-its are, you know where the pens are, you know where the erasers are. It's not a guessing game and it's not a fishing expedition. Every single time you need to find something. Oh, I need a ruler? I know exactly where that is. You need a pen? I got one of those too. You want a glue stick? Um, here's one of 26. Ah, that's the byproduct. 
you get to also eliminate purchasing the same things over and over again because you didn't know that you already had them. So when things are organized, it's easier for them to find and they're not going, mom, dad, I need a pen. Um, open up your drawer, there they are. It saves you time and it saves you energy and frustration. The next part is the fun part. It's to personalize. And you can either personalize with their favorite colors or if there's a sport or activity that they have an interest in, now is the opportunity to showcase that. So you may have heard that it's good to keep the base neutral, which I couldn't agree with more. So what that means is rather than purchasing a Thomas the Train bed because your kid is obsessed with Thomas the Train at the moment or a princess bed, that they're going to outgrow in two or three years because they go through phases when they're kids. It's better to buy a classic bed and maybe just buy accessories that is in line with those interests that they currently have. So Thomas the Train bedding would be very easy to switch out when he's no longer in love with Thomas the Train. And same thing with princess bedding. The same goes for pillows and art and curtains. Those are very easy items to switch out and it's not very expensive to do so when the time is right. Finally, it's important to take advantage of that vertical space. While it's important to have things at the right height so that your child can reach it, all too often I see rooms that have completely naked walls and then all the clutter is on the floor. So it's really important that you add hooks, add shelves, move things off the floor, frame things up, add a cork board, add a magnetic board, whatever it takes to display some of their artwork so that it's more personal to them. You can also hang those wires with the clips so that they can hang up artwork. This reduces all that floor clutter and at the same time it personalizes their space. Now you've learned multiple ways that you can successfully make over your kid's bedroom. It's going to take some work, but if you put some good systems in place, it's so much easier to maintain and it, it is so worth it. Since I can't do the work for you, unless you're local to me, of course, I curated some of my top organizing tools for keeping those new and improved rooms looking great all year round. You can download the guide by clicking on the link in the description box below. My biggest challenge is keeping up with all those little things. You know those little tchotchkes that they give you at parties and different events? I just don't let them come home anymore. Make sure you download your free Better Makeover shopping guide below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and click that subscribe button so that I know to make more videos just like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.